This is Jose Blanco coming to you with a lesson on parallelism. Now, parallelism is an extremely important concept that your English teacher will stress to you because it helps you to communicate more clearly. And frankly, that is what we want. Clear communication. Please take a look at this sentence. Jason likes to play baseball, singing in a band, and working his father in his father's grocery store. Now, there's nothing grammatically wrong with that sentence, but it fails to communicate precisely what we want because we have faulty parallelism. Now, how do we fix this? All right, we can say, we look and we say, okay, what three things does he like to do? A, to play baseball, B, singing in a band, and C, working in his father's grocery store. But look, here we have to play, we have the word to, uh-uh, here we have singing, right, and here we have working. If you have two of the same, convert the third one to the other form, right? So we should write, Jason likes playing baseball, there you go, singing in a band, And don't forget that comma, and working in his father's grocery store. All right, now ladies and gentlemen, now we have a completely parallel structure. We have lights playing baseball, singing in a band, and working in his father's grocery store. This is just one element of parallelism. If you need more information on parallelism and correcting faulty parallelism, please email me, call me, whatever it takes. Thank you. Okay.